Did you ever see the video of Obama talking about illegal immigration? It's incredible. Yeah, it's it's really amazing. It's when he was a senator and yep. running for president the first time, and he is more like he's stricter than, than what, Trump. Yes, I mean it's a fascinating thing because no one brings that up and no one called him racist. But I guess we're dealing with a long time ago. You know, it's well. I mean, there's a couple of things. He's, when was it? Was it 2011? He was doing that. He was a senator, so it was probably around 2010, 2011, mm -hmm. something like that. I mean, look, there's a lot of things there, right? He, I mean, he's black, number one, so mm -hmm. it's like they're not going to call him racist. It right. doesn't. It, it creates a thing where they can't compute what does that actually mean. But he was saying the things that people wanted to hear. He also wanted to be elected. Yeah, to, he wanted yeah, to be elected. Exactly. So they they elevated him to a point that he was God. Play this. But he was a politician. Let's, let's listen to this. Yeah, 2005. 2005. Yeah. This is early on. Oh, so we he's all agree on the need to better secure the border and to punish employers who choose to hire illegal immigrants. Uh, you know, we are a generous and welcoming people here in the United States, but those who enter the country illegally and those who employ them disrespect the rule of law, uh, and they are showing disregard for those who are following the law. Uh, we simply cannot allow people to pour into the United States undetected, undocumented, unchecked, and circumventing the line of people who are waiting patiently, diligently, and lawfully uh, to become immigrants in this country. So that's why we need to start by giving agencies charged with border security new technology, new facilities, and more people to stop, process, and deport illegal immigrants. Having said that, securing the borders alone does not solve immigration management. We're going to have to better manage legal immigration in order to end illegal immigration. Uh, Senators McCain and Kennedy point us in the right direction on that point. Right now we've got millions of illegal immigrants who live and work here without knowing their identity or background. Uh, that's part of the reason that we need a guest worker program to replace the flood of illegals with a regulated stream of legals who enter the United States after checks and with access to labor rights. Part of the reason that illegal immigration uh, is so damaging is that it ends up uh, creating a pool of workers with depressed wages and no rights. And that's not something that we find acceptable. It's crazy. Dude. American <clears throat> employers also need to take responsibility. I mean, I just scribbled down like I was doing homework in seventh grade. Mm -hmm. Think about what he said there. We have to secure the border. Secure mm -hmm. the border. Trump. Yeah. Secure Build the border. That wall. Punish that you wall. if you hire, yeah. if you hire illegal workers. If you if you enter illegally, you're showing disregard for our laws. You, we cannot allow illegals to pour in. Uh, we can't let them go ahead of lawful people who are yeah. trying to enter the country. We need better border security, more pro more process and deportations. Uh, we have to better manage legal immigration. And then he talked about the millions that are here now, which in effect is a pathway to citizenship, which, by the way, Trump is basically for at some level. So it's like... So what are we really talking about every time we scream that everybody is racist? It, did he just make a wild what so I assume he's talking about Latino people. So is Barack Obama racist against Latino people? Well, this was when he was a senator. It's like he was elected in 2008. And so he was probably gearing up to run. When he was in 2005, the things that he was saying, he was letting people know who he is and that he's out there and starting the ball rolling. You know, this is a different time, too. 2005 was just a different world. And it seems like it shouldn't be because it was only 13 years ago. But God damn, is it different? So what does that say then? What, what does that actually say about the way things ch have changed or the cult of personality around Trump or just sort of the general derangement of the media that they can't view these things? It's not just the media. I think it's also people's access to communication. The fact that anyone can voice their opinion, whether it's on Facebook or YouTube or what have you. You know, it's it's a different world. Twitter, you just you just tweet instantaneously. This is fucking bullshit. You know, people <laughs> should be able to do whatever they want or whatever you know whatever you want to say, and then a bunch of people can agree or disagree or retweet it or you know or or, or screen grab it because they think that it's damaging to you and they put I can't believe you support this piece of shit. And think about it. You can wake up on any given morning, find someone you've never heard of who said something you slightly disagree with, and you can help get them fired. That's a lot of. There's power. a lot of people want to do that too, yeah. which is really interesting.